Uh, Honorable Nolichungu, and this is apparently her maiden speech. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Deputy Speaker. <laughs> The National Land Transport Amendment Bill primarily seeks to consolidate the BRT systems. The reality for millions of workers and poor people is that 24 years after democracy, commuters are still subjected to long journeys in minibus taxis that are not roadworthy. Many leave their homes while it is still dark in the early mornings, only to come back when it is dark again, leaving their children to raise themselves. To sign up a black worker's life from a typical township, earning poverty wages, workers spend their lives commuting. Even worse, commuting in itself is a danger to one's life because of an overcrowded and badly maintained public transport system. To consolidate a BRT system within the current apartheid spatial framework, where townships are reserved for blacks far from work and whites in suburbs near to work, it is not only narrow and short-sighted, but a deliberate effort by the ANC to retain and perpetuate apartheid spatial and economic legacy. The only way to consolidate land use for transport purposes is within a framework where the state is the custodian of all land. This will then enable the state to plan the economy, transport, human settlement, and general land use, which will allow workers to move closer to work, students closer to schools, recreation facilities closer to homes, and black families to live and raise their children in a stable environment. This is one of the main reasons why we must expropriate land without compensation and why we must do it now. The other issue which the bill seeks to address is the Uber transport system. But because the ANC lack of sophistication, they are failing to recognize that the phenomena of Uber is simply a fragment of capitalist reorientation. All that Uber is, is a new way of exploiting workers and extracting profit without paying tax or abiding by the regulations. While the amendment in this bill of placing Uber and other similar services in the same category as meter taxes is commendable, meaning that Uber drivers will need operating licenses and that criminal records of Uber drivers are now checked by those issuing operating licenses and will help prevent the rape and kidnapping of passengers by Uber drivers. These amendments will not solve the fundamental issue around Uber and the violence we have seen between Uber drivers and meter taxis. At the heart of this violence is the exploitation of workers by capital. Uber has successfully used the fact that it is a new technology which does not fit into all definitions of employer and employee. And up until today, Uber claims that it is not an employer, but rather a technology that connects drivers to clients. The extract of labor for profit makes Uber an employee. Last year, an AMC, a CCMA hearing ruled that Uber is an employee and should therefore be bound by labor regulations but the exploitation of Uber drivers by the employer is still continuing. This will continue until this House legislates for the protection of workers in an economy that is constantly changing. In order for the EFF to support this amendment bill, a number of changes need uh, therefore to be made. Honorable Member, I'm afraid your time has We expired. cannot dispute the fact that rail in South African content should be found shall to our present system, Honorable but Nolichungu, NLT8 Act does not extensively deal with expired. rail in an integrated public transport system, I thank you. Thank you. Honorable Deputy uh, Speaker, yes. uh, 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 <laughs> 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 Honorable Deputy Speaker, 
Come a job. Honorable Deputy Speaker.